Gabriel Babersluis, pediatric orthotist, here to talk to you about long-term low load progressive stretch bracing for children with tight heel cords. In order for any stretching treatment to be effective and successful, there are really four things that are important to make sure are incorporated. Uh, the first is we need to make sure that we have total contact correction, correct bony alignment, throughout the foot and ankle to protect the midfoot, protect the foot structure so that the stress created with any sort of stretching does not further compromise uh, foot structure in the patient. The second thing that's important is we want to have adjustable tension. And so we use dynamics for two reasons. The first is so that any child that if they're sleeping and they um, roll over, they feel the need or to, to move and to stretch and to push, or if they have spasticity, we use dynamic bracing that allows that to occur so that when they're active or their tone is active, they have that release and they're able to, to um, contract those muscles, but then when they relax again, the tension of the joint comes back and um, provides that dynamic stretch. We wanna be able to, first of all, make sure that the tension is low enough so that it's comfortable for the patient to wear, comfortable enough to sleep in, um, and very tolerable for them but we want to be able to turn it up as well so that we're doing the most good and getting the most benefit within that comfort range possible. And so again, it varies depending on the joints that we use and the size of the patient. But with this particular joint, there is a numeric scale right here. And we set up a program with the patient and send them and the parents home with a tool to be able to increase the tension or decrease the tension as needed and as tolerated and we set them up with a whole program whereby we start with a certain amount of tension and uh, we have a little chart that we draw out for them and we ask them to gradually increase that tension uh, by one half number per week as long as the pressure is still tolerable to the patient. The third thing that's important is to have a dorsiflexion limit on the orthosis. We have, this is an example of an ultraflex joint which we use on larger kids. Um, they function very similar to other components that we use on smaller kids, but, um, so functionally they're very similar, but with the smaller kids, say about age eight or nine or younger, then we use a smaller, lighter component, which uh, works, works very similar, and I'll talk about that in a later video. Um, but the way that this works then is this has a dynamic stretching component to it, and there's a dorsiflexion limit, which we set typically at about 20 degrees of dorsiflexion to make sure that we're not overstretching the patient's muscle or compromising the foot structure by stretching the joint beyond its natural range of motion. So we're very happy if we can achieve 20 degrees of dorsiflexion with a brace and, uh, and hold that position, that's gonna do wonders for helping to, maintain, to improve and maintain range of motion long-term as children grow. Uh, the, the other thing that's necessary is we need to have a lock or some way to release the tension on the joint when we put it on. These are spring-loaded joints they're fully adjustable, but when, we, when the brace is being put on, it's so important to make sure that the patient's foot goes all the way back into the orthosis and that the heel can be seated properly in the correct alignment before we create that tension. So with this particular component, we have a locking mechanism right here. And so what we do is we pull this back to just beyond wherever the patient's range of motion is so that they can easily put it on uh, within a locked position, get their heel all the way down in, and then once it's on, then we unlock it and allow it to move free, and then the joint does its work. Once we achieve that full 20 degrees of range of motion, that's our goal, that's celebration time. Uh, at that point, there's no need to turn the brace up anymore. We don't need to increase the tension, but we just wanna have them continue to wear it, maintain that positioning, maintain the stretch on the muscles throughout the night so that the muscles grow longer as the bones grow and you can stay ahead of range of motion challenges throughout the growing years.